What's going on? My name is Nareth and welcome to another video of Style Him Now. And today I have four pair of Chelsea boots that we will review today, ranging from a price of $48 to $60. And these are all suede Chelsea boots. So let's take a look to see if they're worth the price and what are the quality. So the first one that I have is the Sestini um, suede Chelsea boot and this i got this in a size 10. this is what the boots look like i absolutely love this color it pairs really well with lighter color clothing as mentioned i got this in a size 10. really love this slender body design also this come with a zipper as well this is what the boots look like and this come with the side zipper zipper a little bit rough a little bit tough when you try to pull it up and down um, maybe add a little bit of lubricant it is a synthetic leather um, they claim it is premium I don't know about their claim for premium this synthetic leather is pretty soft but it is not nowhere near the premium quality they claim to be it's still a little bit tough it does come with three sections, which the front, you got the front right here, this is the middle section, and then it cover up with the ankle area on the back. And I do see that this boot doesn't have that really clean finish to it. Once you take a closer look into how it finished on the inside, you see that there's some area in the letter that just look a little bit sloppy on the finish the bottom of the the boots is designed as non-slip as well so this pattern will work really well on wet surface floor the heel is about one inch high also there's no pull tap on this boot besides the sloppy finish the lining on the inside is absolutely soft their insole is really comfortable this is their insole uh, the padding is pretty thick. At first, I kind of thought that they may have memory foam, but the product's description doesn't have it. You can see here, each of the point here, it worked as a pressure point on at the bottom of my feet. So once I put it on, I actually felt it. it. It's pretty comfortable, and the insole make that experience a little bit more enjoyable. I am a little bit iffy on the durability of this insole. The way it feels doesn't really assure me that it's gonna last long. Overall, on a scale of one through five, I would give this boot three or 3.5 in comfort. So up next, we have the Bruno Mark suede chelsea boot this is the cheapest boot out of all four it is currently selling at 48 dollars and it come in a black color so right off the bat just by the way it feels in my hand the material is a little bit tougher than the Sesbini suede chelsea boot it feels pretty tough and the material is not too flexible either so this boot features synthetic rubber sole. This is what the sole look like. I actually like the design of the outsole. This is one of the reasons why I got it. It features a pull tab, a side goring. It's pretty stretchy. So it has synthetic sole and the suede material is also synthetic. What I like about this boot is compared to the Chelsea boot from earlier, you can tell that the arch is a little bit different. This one at the toe area, it has a little bit more arch. Every time you take a step, it actually helps a lot. And this is what the bottom of the boots look like. It doesn't look like it will handle wet surface very well. So this boot also has removable insole. Not really a big fan of the insole. It looks like it has the durability, but it's just that it's really thin. There's nothing on the shoes that really jump out at me at all. It's um, really basic quality wise, not really impressed. I give this shoes about two. But then this is the cheapest pair out of four. And up next we have the Sestini suede Chelsea boot. So this is what the boot look like. And unlike the other Sestini, this one does not feature the zipper. As you can see here, they are different color. And this one come with zipper and this one does not. I actually like this gray color more than this caramel milky color. First of all, this material 
feel the same as the other Sesfini. It's pretty soft. I just love the lining on the inside. Kind of like ASOS, they put a little bit more of an extra padding, probably polyester lining on the inside of the boot. The insole is really soft. As soon as you lay your feet down, the surrounding just conform to your feet print is and it just hugs your feet. It is currently selling at $49.99, but sometimes you can catch them selling at a couple of dollars less. This is also not slip resistant, works really well on wet surfaces. It has a really, really nice elongated body. Overall, on comfort alone, I give this a four out of five star. This boot is the softest so far. And lastly, we have the Jordi Gijo. I might have butchered their name. It is currently retailing at $54.99. It has great color. Um, look a little bit lighter on the screen, but it is a little bit more brown. Like I said, it has nice color, not too flashy, but enough to make a statement. This is synthetic leather. It has also has removable insole. This is what the insole look like. It has the same insole as the Sesfini, so I'm not really sure if these companies are getting insole from the same company or not. Also feature a side goring. This is also non-slip, works really well on the wet surfaces. I just love this red color, contrast with the black color. The stitching look like it's all in place. This feature a pull tab. Has really pretty soft lining on the inside. Walk-wise, it is a pleasure experience. Like many of the review point out, the color, the picture, and what you get is a little bit misleading. Leading. not a really good look for the company and also people seems to have a quality concern over this boots overall my favorite would have to be the third pair which is the Sesfini suede Chelsea boot not only that the material is pretty soft I think they really want me with the insole it's super comfortable so let me know these are the four pair of boots that we reviewed today thank you so much for watching let me know which one is your favorite and I'll see you next time Mom